What up Rafflitos, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to introduce you to my housing plan. That is my plan to build a housing development for smart homes. I also want to introduce you to the websites, the websites for the 10 projects that I'm starting. Stay tuned. This is my, this is my, this is my day. I'm ready to take it on, come what may. So first of all, shout out to all the people who have expressed an interest in joining my team. To Agri and Liam and Raj and Dana. People who have contacted me and said, look, I'm interested in some aspect of the um, projects that you're running. And if you're interested in meeting me for lunch anytime in Guyana, and you're here in Guyana, Let's make that happen. So I'm welcoming somebody next weekend. And if you're going to be in Guyana, um, you know, and you want to meet up, let's make that happen. Soon when I begin to travel to North America and Europe again, I will host some meetups for some of you who are my, who are my um, followers in London and in New York and in LA and so on in the south of, of the USA. So stay tuned for those uh, meetups coming soon. But what I want to do right now is, first of all, is introduce you to a couple of websites that are already up and running, and to the main website, the Blueberry Group dot online, where all of the websites will be hosted. So I'm setting up a single website at which all of the projects will be hosted. And right now, you can get the Medical Biosciences website from that single website. I'm going to link the Blueberry Solar website there. Presently, you can't purchase solar panels and solar systems on the Blueberry website. Every time you try to purchase something, I get a little, um, I get an email from PayPal saying that somebody has deposited three cents into my account and it gives me your email address. But we're not quite yet set up to deliver um, solar panels and solar power systems. We're working on it and soon we'll be up and running and you'll be able to order solar power for your home from anywhere in the world. So. That is uh, a project that is still in the works and is up and running, but not fully ready to deliver solar panels to homes. That's the blueberrysolar.com website. The, the Medical Biosciences website is up and running. It's the site that I use to describe what we're doing in bioinformatics. That is, we wanted to uh, computerize hospitals and uh, healthcare systems in Guyana. We want to introduce electronic medical records. We also have software. So this is the site, the Blueberry, the Medical Biosciences website is a site through which we will run our automation, uh, doing our uh, automation or AI development, um, artificial intelligence development software for medical applications. That is going to run from our Medical Biosciences website. And you can get that um, to that site from the Blueberry uh, group dot online website. So that is what is up and running. But what I want to do today is to talk to you about the housing plan. So let's talk about what I plan for housing. So one of the plans that I have is to establish a modern housing development with smart homes powered by solar power. So this is a new home that went up within the last 30 days. So this has been going up for a while. I've seen them preparing the land. Now they're almost complete. This is what the house looks like. Right, this is what the new house looks like. And this is 2090. There is no provision for solar panels on the roof. There is no unusual architecture to take advantage of natural lighting. There's no uh, smart use of ventilation. And I'll explain why that's important in the 21st century. This is 2019. Josh and Guyana. Now I'm not faulting the homeowner. This is what he knows. This is what he likes, right? This is what he's built. It seems as if he's built to um, a two-flat home that is self-contained on each level. It's probably good for rental and stuff like that. But anyway, it's far from my vision from what should be built. This one seems to have a heating, a water heater on the roof. 
Right, so this is what a water heater, a solar water heater on the roof looks like. Again, I don't believe that this is the smartest use of solar power. But uh, I will commend him for using solar power in some way. And over here, two newer homes, one not quite complete. This one was built in the last three years, I believe. So I've seen this house, that one of the houses that seen them built. This one is still being completed. So what I have in mind for a smart housing, smart homes community is one that uses solar power as its main source of power. So it's clean energy, it's quiet, it's silent, and it doesn't produce any pollutants, atmospheric pollution locally. My smart houses also uses a lot of glass. Now there are people who tell you that glass works like a greenhouse. To trap heat. So there are people who will tell you that building with glass is not good for the tropics because it uses, it operates like a greenhouse. Morning. 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 To trap heat. But I beg to differ. Using thin films, glass is now being used as solar panels. So you have these, sla these glass panels that are solar photovoltaic panels. And you can build an entire house where all the windows and all the glass walls produce solar power. And that is what I am talking, talking about when I talk about a smart housing development. So you get both the light of the sun and the electricity of the sun. And you can use the power to power your air conditioning. So you build with glass. Yeah, it traps heat, but it also produces electricity that cools the building. And you can put it on a you can put it on a thermostat so that the hotter the building go, come, becomes, in other words, heat in the tropics is correlated with the sun so it's hotter on days when the sun is shining and it's cooler on days when it's cloudy and rainy so because these two are connected you will always have power to cool the building and that is what I mean by smart homes you have a home that is powered with solar and the hotter the day uh, yet, the more power the solar panels make to cool the building. I also want to build homes that are taller than these two flat homes that we are accustomed to. I think we ought to be able to go up to 20 floors, at least on this soil, with proper engineering. We've been told that you can't build tall in Guyana because the weight of the building sinks into the clay soil that we have along the coast. But there's all kinds of engineering now that you can use and of course all of Guyana is not clay so the reason for that is there's a different experience living above the treetops so life above the treetops living a life living your life above the level of the trees the tallest trees is an entirely different experience from living below the trees and that is something we're not really used to we're not accustomed to in Guyana so what I plan to do is to use the leverage of numbers because if you build a tall building then you can you can spread the cost of the land over many units so let's say you build a 20-story uh, residential apartment or condominium complex you know four tall buildings in there four 20-story buildings in there you can spread the cost of the land over you know 100 200 units and you provide some people with the experience of living above the treetops something that we're not used to but it's an entirely different experience it's a mentally different experience 
course there's safety and stuff that you have to take, account, take into account when you build tall but it's an entirely different living experience, life experience living above the treetops and those who live in tall cities, in, in cities with tall buildings can tell you this and thirdly for smart homes I want to build homes that are internet connected so you can talk to your home and it prepares for you before you arrive home it, it sort of anticipates your needs it adjusts to your individual needs whether you are a person with disabilities or a person who likes to live at a certain uh, schedule your house can prepare for you opening the blinds at sunrise closing them at sunset securing the building you know automatically turning on the alarm or turning off the alarm at some specific time and ultimately totally connected automated and controlled via say smart devices uh, from remote locations so there you have it folks those are my plans to build smart homes in Guyana remember they are homes that are equipped with solar power in other words all of the homes will be powered by solar the glass that covers the walls and it covers the windows will be solar panels photovoltaic panels to produce the electricity to run the homes the homes will be temperature regulated in other words air conditioned based on the power generated from solar power so that the temperature will match the outside temperature in other words when the sun is high more electricity will be used to cool the homes and thirdly the homes will be internet connected and automated to match your lifestyle so that it adjusts to your bedtime and your wake time the window blinds the shutters will be closed and open the security system will be armed and disarmed and lighting and all these things will be prepared will be automated to work with your schedule this is what a smart home will do for you and also you can control it via the internet so these are internet connected homes you can control it via the internet by your cell phone your smart device and you can do things like order groceries and you know inform your uh, visitors that you're not in and so on by leaving a message at the door and so on so this is what my idea of a smart home housing development is going to be like now right now I'm catering to young people and to people who may remigrate into Guyana but perhaps there are needs that you have that you'd like to see in a smart home and that you would like me to introduce or to um, to cater for if you're interested in investing or being part of this smart home development team let me know on uh, Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or via my email address remember you can support this channel on Patreon and on PayPal and join any of the 10 projects that I'm working on anytime that you are ready remember what we're doing is we're trying to ride the wave of development that comes from the growth and expansion of the oil and gas industry so the oil and gas industry industry as it grows in Guyana will cause the Guyanese economy to expand and we're not going to complain about whether Exxon will rob Guyana of you know its its share of the the profits what we're going to do is we're going to set ourselves up to ride that wave of expansion with the rise in the value of the Guyana dollar with the growth and expansion of the economy we want to position ourselves to profit and to grow with that economy and that is what this whole 10 projects team is about in the comments below let me what you think about my housing development plan and what do you think about the blueberry solar and medical biosciences websites and the uh, central website the blueberry group dot online website later